Hello everyone, welcome to another Blender tutorial. This one will be quick and covering the rest of the basics. Oops, the draw shape box. And this this makes you see different sides, well not really sides, different ways to see the model. You got the bounding box. I'm going to unselect so you can see this. And this is how it will look like. Wireframe looks basically the same. Solid. Shaded basically the same and then we got textured this one will obviously show your textures on your mesh so I'm just gonna go to wireframe for now now we got the modes now usually you could just press tab and that'll bring you to object and edit mode that's the easiest but there's others that you might need to go like if you ever wanted to sculpt something you go to sculpt mode and vertex paint, you go to vertex paint mode, texture paint, Whee! and weight paint. I'm just going to go back to edit mode. This. I prefer vertices and edges over faces, unless I need to delete faces, then I just select faces click there, delete, faces, and ta-da! And now we got the sub-menu. The ones that we're going to use the most is modifiers. Here's a, t here's a little test. We're going to use loop cut, that's K. Actually, while I'm there, I'm going to teach you more about the loop cut tool. When you press K, it brings up this menu. This is the loop cut menu. You got loop cut, you got knife exact, knife midpoint, and knife multicut. All of these do slightly different things, but what they basically do is add a bunch of new edges and vertices on your mesh. You're going to just use loop cut for now. And when you move your mouse around, you see that there's a pink line in the middle of your mesh. And if you move around, it could do that and that. Well, let's click the left mouse button. Got a yellow line now, we can move it around. Click it where you want it to go. And you can also do something else. I'm going to press Control Z to undo it. K, loop cut. And I'm going to press the middle mouse button. And that's just going to automatically put it in the center of the face. Okay. And another thing, loop cut, I'm going to do that again, got this showing up. Now I'm going to use my scroll mouse, up, down, up, 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 down, 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 and that makes a lot more. And you could do that if you need like more vertices and whatever for your mesh, make it look nice. Let's go to top view with seven. Numcat pad key. And I'm gonna use size and Y. I'm gonna go like that. There we go. And this is basically how you circular it out a low poly mesh. Circular it. Boo. Anyway, I'm gonna undo that. So now I have a box again. And now I'm going to select all by pressing the A button. I'm going to go to K again. And I'm going to use knife exact. And this one, I'm going to click with the left mouse button here, drag it here, click again, and now you see a pink line. Now press enter. Now you have a line in there, and you can do this in a lot of different ways. Sorry, Coke. Ugh. And I meant Pepsi. Like Coke, soda, God. <laughs> Pepsi isn't Coke. Anyway, I'm going to use knife exact again go like that, and it's gonna do this. So we're gonna have this weird quad thing going on here. And it does it perfectly. You can do a lot of different things with this too. Like, I'm gonna make a face, or just like a triangle within this. See what happens. Woo! We got something. Not exactly what I wanted, but close enough. 
and that's basically the loop cut tool. You use this in so many different ways. This will be basically the carving tool when you are meshing this. See the extrude button as your, your modeling tool. You go like this, keep going, and then you got your carve tool. This will go here, and you can size it however you want. You can grab it with the G key, and it'll just, or you can rotate it. We'll cover that more often when we actually start making the mesh. Okay, now we got the menu down here again. We got multi ears. Um, when you add multi ears to a mesh, it generally makes them more smooth. And you don't really necessarily need to do that while modeling. A lot of things can go wrong. You, you, when your multi ears are enabled, you can't edit, yada yada yada. But this is the problem some people go with. Like, we'll go here, we'll add multi ears, we'll add a level. Looks like a circle now. Can't really see it though. There we go. And add level, and the more levels we add, the more of a circle it's gonna look like. Doesn't it look pretty? Doll. And while it's like that, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna press let set smooth. Look at that. It's like a perfect smooth thing. Whatever it is. Now that is in the auto text base area. And then there's set smooth and set solid. You could also set solid again. Set smooth whenever you want. Usually it doesn't really matter other than making it look nice. That's about it. I usually set smooth just to satisfy my smooth desire. But in order to get rid of multi ears, we gotta just apply multi ears and there you go. But I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Do, 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 do. There we go. Apply. There we go. And then there's modifiers. When you go to add modifier, you got a bunch of nice stuff like wave, UV, project, subsurf. Subsurf will do basically the same thing as multiers. Um, got smooth. This basically will smooth it out, or in this case, make it look smaller. And then we got mirror. Of course, nothing's going to show yet. So, let me give you an example. I'm going to get rid of that for now. I'm going to do loop cut. I'm going to use box select. Select over all those. I'm going to delete all the faces. Go back into front view by pressing the one on the numpad key. The one numpad key going to select all, add modifier, mirror. And now you see that on this side there's a mirror, mirrored version of your mesh. I'm going to use box select, select that, and I'm going to grab it, and you see that whatever I do on this side, it's going to do on that side. But there is a little problem with this. If you don't want it to pass that blue line, go to modifiers again, go to the mirror option, and go to do clipping. Now whenever you do that, it sticks to the middle. And that's important, remember that. And I'm just gonna cancel, go to xxxxx, x. So now I still have my box, my box, my wonderful box. And uh, texture face, that's gonna be important later in the tutorial when we do textures. I won't worry about it now. 